At House Art Kids, today we're going to do yarn painting. This is where you cut up a piece of box, um, like my recycle project, and you cut different lengths of yarn and you're gonna glue them on just like this. Let's get started. So I like to get started by getting a picture of what I'm gonna draw. And I have this cute little fox face that I found on Pinterest. And I'm gonna draw her face just like this. Now, I'm cutting this out. I like to use the clear glue just because the clear glue you I don't just don't feel like the white glue um, it doesn't really dry clear enough for me and like while you're working it kind of feels like I just don't I just don't like the feeling it feels like it's not gonna stay well like so I like to use this clear gel tacky glue it's from Aileen you can just get this at Target or Walmart, any of those stores. So what I like to do is I take the whole cap off to get a lot of the glue out. Come on, glue. Okay. See how much glue I'm using? It's like making slime here. And you do want to do just little portions at a time. Only because if you do, if you glue the whole entire thing and then you get up to leave for like a break or something and then um, all your glue is going to dry. Okay, here's another tip. You want to keep a good layer, like a thick layer of glue because this we're, we're working with yarn here and the yarn is going to not stick if you have a really thin layer. So you need like a good, like I would say an eighth of an inch to a sixteenth of glue thickness on the area that you're working with. So I'm gonna start at the nose and then work my way to the top. Now, one good thing you wanna do is to keep a good direction of which area you're going to do the yarn in what direction. So I want to put my yarn like the hairs of the fox. So I might be wanting to do like a couple short the reason why we do this is to do use texture. See I'm, I'm using the texture of the yarn and putting it on as like a painting. You know like Monet, Manet, these people who um, artists who painted with the style of Impressionism, they used texture to create all these beautiful works of art. And they used like different brush strokes. They didn't just paint everything really flat. Like nowadays, everything is so like pop art, it's so flat. Like um, you don't get that much texture in things, but all this texture actually makes things way more interesting. So do you see how I'm just like working my way with these strips?
I finish the face, um, I'm going to do the eyes. The eyes, I'm going to do it in a different shape. I'm not going to cut them up like I did the white and the, the brown. I'm going to twist it around and actually make like a snail shape. So, and you could, it's good to always have like a dry, um, I use the Sometimes I use a Q-tip. I'm using the edge of my the other the wrong side of my brush right now. One side I use to to paint the glue on. The other side I'm gonna use to like hold it down. Only because I don't like getting my fingers too sticky because um, this has a more narrower tip. So do you see how I'm just pressing down so it sticks? And again, the glue has to you have to have a thick layer of glue in order for this to stay. If you have too thin layer of glue it won't stay it won't it'll um, come off in the end actually so. now the reason why we make the blue the eyes into a coil like this is to have a texture difference. If you notice, the hairs that I did with the brown are longer and then the hairs that I did with the white are shorter. And I kind of did the white random because I wanted it kind of like a rustic look and then also like not too perfect. If you make everything look too perfect, then it doesn't have like that natural feel to it. So I kind of just cut them all up into smaller pieces and I glued it on. Now, for the finishing touch, I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle on the eyes. So I'm going to add a little highlight with my rhinestones. Highlight and a little bit of a, another turquoise blue color just to make it prettier. Because I love sparkle. This project's not really like a glitter project. It's more about texture and yarn. So I'm just adding a final touch with a little rhinestone. That's the highlight. And then I added also a little turquoise one at the bottom just to add a little bit more color. That's it! See you next time! Like, subscribe, 